Okay, so 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time on the dot, Tuesday, June 11th, 2024. Chad Xavier Harris here recording live from Old National Highway, right? Or Old National, a.k.a. Dirty Nat, nigga. So, we did our sixth attempt at a prop firm yesterday, really Sunday, 6 p.m., now it's Tuesday, 6 p.m. We we uh I we did a six attempt at a part from yesterday, uh, a few days ago. It's, it's approaching seventy two hours I guess. It was Tuesday evening. So, Sunday, 5 p.m., Monday, 5 p.m., Tuesday, 5 p.m., it's 48 hours. No, yeah, we're approaching 72 hours, bro. It's almost been three days into the week. Tomorrow's Wednesday, midnight makes Wednesday, and Wednesday is halfway through the week. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. You know what I'm saying? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Those are the first three days, right? Three days, that's 72 hours. It's twice because the weekend is 150 hours, so that means it's 30, 35 hours overtime. It's like an hour overtime for every hour you have off. Like you can take a whole shift for every shift until the real shift starts, nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can do whatever you have a capital for, nigga. What do you mean? You know? Do you got the money? Then they got the time. Like, what do you mean? Like, you know? Just crazy. You know? Just. Whew. It's just like, whoa. You know? She's crazy. She likes me. She's a spy. You know? You know? You're a goddamn spy, right? You're the whole spy. You're the whole espionage agent. You know? So. We did our sis attempt. It was a 2K. It was our first time doing a 2K, anything that low. We were thinking the 5K was the lowest, right? So our first five attempts were a 5K. We just did a 2K, right? So today we signed up for a 5K and another 2K. So that 2K, we pretty much passed it in 24 hours, right? And I had other trades in. And so it's like the like other pairs, like the metals. It was the metals. Which were buying, but all but go really did a like go did go back, but it you know it wasn't that far of a break even. Platinum's break even was crazy. Platinum done dropped on your ass. Like you feel me? You was buying platinum right at like what nine nine something right? Oh no, right? Cause it's nine five right now. So you know what I'm saying? Anybody then that was there then you know or when right then when you know, they already knew what's up, but if this is your first time hearing that at this point in time, on this day, June 11th, right, it platinum hit 950, it woke, right? It's like, it really is selling. It's selling on the daily. My daily Bears Bulls is, my daily Bears Bulls 5. Bears apply to the high, high apply to the Bears, low apply to the Bulls, Bulls apply to the low. It's a double modification right there. So that on the daily is your power signal right there. Like that's your bank card, you know. So just having dats in there, we would pass it, right? That's what we learned because with dats in there, we passed it, but we had other stuff in there, so we didn't even just go all dats. So no, you go all dats because if you're not going all dats, then it doesn't matter what dats does because you got a loser in there. Just goes crazy. It's over then. You know what I'm saying? You had a winner and a loser. <laughs> Should have just picked the first one. Right? So it's like these spot firms now will be all DATs, right? Now I'm testing the DAT signal on the American indices, the US 100, aka NASDAQ, the SPX, you know, the SPX 500, you know, on the private as well. The mini is trading the minis on my private, but my, my private live account, but the. That's crazy. Minis, privates, oh gosh, right? Private minis, oh god, minis and minis, right? So we take that one, 
and okay we're waiting for all right so the platforms are going to be only for that right so if we do do the nasdaq it will be after the test you know uh testing the signal we're testing it in the demo account now you know we're just testing it out like because we have we had a buy-in on the spy so we definitely took that out and we just sold it on the demo instead you know what i'm saying like for sure it's actually gonna sell because dax is selling it's like because last time when i put the nasdaq trades in with the dax after the dax was making money already and I did NASDAQ trades. I did sales. Did the opposite of what I was doing on that on that. So that's an automatic equation. Oh, okay. So you fell when you was doing the opposite of what you was doing on that. So you you buying that. That's an index. But you selling NASDAQ. That's crazy, right? That doesn't make any sense, right? You know what I'm saying? If you don't drink water, you better drink milk. If you don't drink milk, you better drink water. It's like one or the other, bro. You know what I'm saying? You don't drink both of them. What? You know what I'm saying? So. You know, it's like that. It's just crazy. It's oil and water. That just doesn't mix. Because they're both going the same way. So what's your problem? You know what I'm saying? Like, on which one are you joking? You, th you must be joking on one of them, right? You know what I'm saying? What do you mean I'm joking? Like, you know what I'm saying? You're joking, right? You're buying that because that's going up. That's a good call. You're selling NASDAQ because NASDAQ is buying. That's a bad call. You know what I'm saying? You're only selling it because it's buying. If it wasn't low, you wouldn't sell it. You know what I'm saying? If it was low, you would buy it. And now you're buying it. So you're just a bull all around. You just, you gotta be a bull 100% of the time. Okay, good luck. You know, like that's what stocks are for. You know, so we're waiting for the lowest price level to be hit. I'm not even looking at the MACD until. The lowest price level is hit. So right here, the lowest three price levels, that's right where the parabolics are, the parabolic SARs. So these lowest three, that's when we apply an indicator. And then we just watch for that signal, right? Because when it hits there, it pretty much should on the one minute be at the bottom. That's what I'm saying. So we're waiting for one minute to hit the bottom. And then we're gonna go over here and watch this MACD go positive. And then we're gonna buy it. You know, you see that's that's universal day. They already know what's up. They already know what's up. They know what's up. That's what they keep making the noise, bro. Like, like we're gonna buy. We're gonna buy it. Because this is the five minute chart. I'm all the way scrolled up. And I put the lines on there. And before I put the lines on there, they I made all the candles pink, like Tori's uncle. You know, it's all one color. You know, why? Cause I don't want to know what one candle is doing, you know. I want to see the unity in it all, you know. No matter what it's doing, it's going up or it's going down, it's only going one way at a time, you know. So you're just chasing the rabbit at that point, you know what I'm saying? It's rabbit hole after rabbit hole after rabbit hole. You catch, you know what I'm saying? You catch the rabbit hole, you know what I'm saying? If you have the time to catch the rabbit hole, if you're watching it and you take the action when you see it, so the five minute. We always scrolled out and we're waiting for the price to hit the lowest three price levels. And that just also happens to be where the lowest parabolic is. So at that point, you start reaching the lowest parabolic. At that point, you're going to buy it. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to continue it because it's like this five minute is going to have to hit the highest three price levels which is also correlating with the highest parabolic on the screen at this time. This price is creating an algorithm. This price is an algorithm. It's a, it's a V, you know? You might go with it down, but it's about to go back up on you, so you can't lose it because they're making a V. And then it's going to have to go back down. Then it's going to have to go back up. And then it's going to keep going up. And then it's not always a straight V at all. It's a lot of checkpoints, really. That could be a checkpoint. And once it hits it, it's nothing but checks in one direction. So you would hold it. You would hold the line at that point. Like you don't push the 200 and the signal is nowhere near done. And it's like, uh-uh, here we go. And you just hold it. 
and if you hold it and hold it to the MACD on the five minutes, it's just out of strength and it's just negative now. And then you sell it with everything you got, and then you take the MACD off your chart until the price is back at the lowest price levels. You know what I'm saying? It's like the indicators are a gun, can't use them all the time. It's like that. You use them on the kill shot. I'm going to use this algorithm setup for the kill shot, you know, basically. So it's like I have a an algorithm, I have an equation for that. That's your move, that's your play, we call that the rain dance, you know, we call that the rain man, whatever, you know, silver burger. So now it's more like a stop on your hand. So a silver burger rain man, the stop on. At this point, I'm ready to hunt your stops, you know. If I say it's buying, you can sell it, but... I'm going to stop. That's how it's going to happen. If you don't set a stop, I'm going to your whole account. And it's not even like that. It's just all numbers and digits and economic factors and economic calendars. You know, signals popping up with economic news on the calendar. At the same time, they'd be like, oh, Jerome Powell's about to speak. I'm like, oh. The Audi Matthews about to go green. Isn't that funny? So he's gonna get on there and just parade around like he knows his, how he's like he's making it happen, right? He's, he's gonna make it rain, right? You know, they're just pouring money into the signal. You know, they're getting super duper rich. You know, that means it's a trading with the money. Are you trading with the money, right? So you know, it's, it's really uh, it's been a wild three days going on three days and I apologize for not recording the whole time. I was just nervous, you know, it's the pop from but it's like, no, I'm doing the YouTube, it's all trading. So with the live trading, just do that while you're not doing the other kind of trading content videos. You're gonna make a bunch of series. Like you're like a serious artist, right? So now you just your art is trading, so now you're just creating art about the art of trading, basically your art of trading, right? So it's the art of trading. It is an art and I'm gonna show you the art form in a multifaceted manner. So it's gonna be awesome. So we're testing the NASDAQ going down. We're testing the NASDAQ going down. And we're testing the five minute just going down because it did a really nice rise from where it came from. So, because the chart is on its way to the top three price level. So at this point, we're finding our entry off at the bottom of the one minute. So waiting for that to hit the bottom. And then we're just gonna skip over to the five minute MACD. And we're gonna wait it all out, basically. We're gonna see what the MACD says. When that goes negative, it's a wrap. Then we're gonna take the MACD off the chart. The MACD like, oh, you just gonna use me like that? Right? Like real quick. Like because now the MACD can't be trusted anymore, right? Because it's not at the bottom of the price levels, let alone the bottom of three three lowest the top three lowest price levels on your chart those are your buy points that's where you're gonna pivot up homeboy you right it's the pivot bus are you getting on or not we gotta go right you know real talk the bus where everybody's getting money on the pivot bus it's when you miss the bus they're laughing at you because now they got your bag because you bet that you would be on the bus on time and you were and so the bus took off without your ass and all your cash. What do you do? Right? It's just like that. We're going to wait for the price at the bottom three price levels. And then we're going to go crazy with the bulls. The bulls are going to go crazy. The smartest bulls. The bulls with the most money. The bulls that keep the most money. Right? So the bulls that equity the most money. Right? The most capital. There's no such thing as money in this game. Now it's all capital. It's capital. It's money when you take it off and spend it on something else, nigga. But right now, it's called investment gains, investment capital. It's called the percentage. It's called the X factor. It's called the ROI. The interest you return on a regular basis, nigga. Not in hell, nigga. You know, ROI, nigga. Right? That's just what it is. We're going to buy from the bottom price levels. Oh, oh, oh. So you just going to simplify it like that? Yes. We're going to simplify it. Very simple. We're going to simplify as simple as we can. 
we're going to be as simple as possible. Third grade level simple. I'm talking barely read and write. Don't even matter. You don't. Can you hear me now? That's all that matters. You know, that's all that matters. You know, so that's all that matters. College is cool. We're gonna pay for college in cash. That was always the point. You pay for college. You go to college when you're rich. What the fuck's your problem? You know, we're gonna go to college when we got it. You know, we just got the bread. You're paying for that in a check. You know, for all four years. If I fail, you get a chest back. How about that? But as of now, I pay for all four. I don't even care. You know, so. It's just capital, bro. So, with the profit we've seen, we do our best with that. So, if we trade anything else, it would have to be based on if it runs with the DAT signal. And that's what we're testing with the American indices, the American indices, and yeah, that includes you know Nasdaq, Spot, and even Dow Jones, right? So we're testing that. But right now we see the DAT is having a drop, so we're gonna see if the others are dropping because of that. We did act on that in the live account. Definitely gonna act on that because that could be hazardous to our capital gains. So we're at least going to get out of it. And as much as we want to sell it, in that account, we only had a dollar in the private account. That's where it boiled down to, from $40, you know? But that's nothing. That can be built back to five, which will be 20, and then, you know, 40, and then from there, you know, 80, and then 100, and then multiple hundreds. So, that's what we were doing. We were trying to think, like, okay, we're looking at NASDAQ. Bottom of the one minute. That's crazy. It's 150 points. 140 points. Easy. Oh my god. Easy. Yeah, it's over 200. It's like 220, basically. Whoa. Right? Let's try and plummet. And we roll in with the dots. It's like this plummet. It's got the plan fast because that is like a hundred dollars away from where it has to go. This is talking about 150, so it's not that far of a distance between them. Okay, right, but we're gonna take the DAX segment. That one's been selling. And we don't know when this one's been selling. How long? Looks like it just did its V right here to here and then back. Here. Where it's looking like it would drop from there. I have to go past here. We just have to go all the way down to the chart. It's just a one minute, bro. This is nuts. This is nuts. This is a lot of bread right here. This whole gap, is, this whole spread is a lot of bread. The spread is bread, bro. A lot of spread, a lot of bread. This is nothing but bread. Look at this. It's just gravity. The nigga could scream. He would be screaming right now. Geronimo. You know, it's just crazy. You know. It's just the bears and the bulls screaming right here for different reasons at different times. But right now, the bears are in charge because that's the order of operations. Because right now, this is when a lot of previous buyers would have cashed out and taken their money. Because I bought in right here. Oh, oh, by here, they made sure they were out right here. You know what I'm saying? If they were in from down here. Then by here, they was like, whoa. And if they stayed in, by here and everything, yeah, it's getting ready and then it's making this final V before getting right back to that point of break even. Like, that's the game, it's like break even. You know, this is all a break even. It's like from right here, it goes down, but then right here, it goes back up to right here. And it's like, whoa, field goal, nigga. It's an algorithm, you know? It's like checkpoint right here. It's, that's the saxophone. Right here, you see the saxophone. You see the saxophone? This whole thing could be the saxophone. I'm just saying, oh, now you see the saxophone. And it's another saxophone. Oh, I get it. A bunch of saxophones. And sometimes V's and upside down A's, which would be a V or a V is an upside down A as well. And upside down A, you know, things like that. But if the rule stands here, people, this being the one minute chart, easily has to come down and back closer to the 19. Thousand zero point is what I refer to the even zero the first start of the new number. 
in a digit. It's a digit, right? And that's gonna be nuts. So we can just kind of watch this one. But yeah, I'm gonna make sure I, I just I just record what's going on and more because I'll be up and staring at it and this and that. Such an intense thing, man. I might be watching something a lot of the time, studying something, right? But it's like, okay, I need to give you something to watch, right? And I'm also a filmmaker, so. You know, you, you got to do that as well. And you have a phone and a screen, of course. So, and you have the chat room you be on. Start recording all that stuff again, bro. You got to go through and scroll through all of that over and make videos of, of reading that shit. Like, you got a lot of other type of videos. Like, showing me, like, rolling with the community, um, like, the trading community, that nigga is like, rolling with, like, the whole team, nigga. Like, I wanted the coaches and that shit. And it's two coaches, nigga. I'm one of the two coaches, nigga. Like, basically, like, I'm the other nigga with, like, the wild shit. I got some, some, you know, shit's just straight out the jungle. This nigga got this shit out the desert, bro. Like, real shit. Real shit, bro. So, that's what we're looking for, for the price being at the top of the one minute, basically... At some point, it's going to have to reclaim its throne at the buying point. The proper buying point is actually going to be closer to the lower price level, the lowest three. That's the that's your buying point. That's really going to be your buying point, bro. You're going to buy from there. So we're, we're planning on buying on the profits, right? And we're going to buy from the bottom of the, of the one minute price level, the, the low three. L3, we're buying from L3, or selling from H3, basically, right? I've said the, the long version long enough for many times enough for you to get what I mean, right? You get it, right? H3, L3, can we roll with that? You know what I'm saying? Like, this sells, then we know we're just gonna roll with the DAT signal. Because it's like, that's what happened. You crash, like, like NASDAQ would have crashed you, but silver crashed you. That's what I'm saying. You had metals in, and then you did the NASDAQ the opposite way. The DAX, they're both indices, whether or not they're in the same nation or not, doesn't matter. Continent, it doesn't matter. It looks like for, for this particular instance with these two pairs, no, they really are going the same. You've been wondering that because you trade the, the American indices as well, but you're like locking in on DAX because DAX is just like really rolling with what's going on with, with like what you see how you see it right so like you pass phase one on the platform 2k you have to make 160 dollars phase one then you have to make another 100 dollars so by the time you had the 100 dollars to make you had 70 but you had other pairs in that would have breached you out so it's like, oh, okay cool yeah nigga uh you said start this one over but Make sure you just do all that because you just did nothing but that. And then you did NASDAQ, which is cool, but you went the other way. So if you're going to do NASDAQ, make sure you confirm if it's rolling with that because the opposite just happened here. So there's like not even a reason to even have to actually investigate something like that because there was only two ways it could have went, and it went one way. So it's like, okay, NASDAQ, you tried to sell at the moment. No, that wasn't selling. So you were buying dats, right? You're right, like you know, it's like, yeah, that hit you after, like, like that, that would have hit you before or hit you while you were doing that. So it's like, okay. And then the metals, the metals were good and went in their profit, but you just, you know, it was like a test. You had a, you had a point two of each one, you know. It's like, all right, but nah, not even that, because that's gonna have to make a V. They're all gonna make a V. There's a V that's gonna, you know, what I'm saying it's like really getting the, the, the concept of the V. There's a V. You gotta catch the V. You know, so that's the V. Like, really, the whole chart is the V. You know, like right here would have been one of the V's, right? Boom, that's where it just came from. That's what I'm saying. Like, the whole chart is going to be a part of the V. This whole chart is part of the V. So it's like you have to put the puzzle together of what part of the V, what part of which V is this formation of lines representing? You know, what, what, what V is this? It's a V at the top of the chart. From here, it's going to have to go back down. Like, they are going to make another V. This was a necklace, a beautiful, beautiful necklace. No, it was a, they're going to make another necklace. Ah, oh, they're sentimental, right? You know, they're romantic. They just want necklaces, right? What are they going to spend the money on? A bunch of $10,000 necklaces for 
women all over the globe, which is crazy, you know? So, she's nuts, you know? Um, we're gonna see if the one minute drops down. The phone's gonna down with the go inside and charge it, but it'll be charging fairly quick after that, and then I come back out and make more videos. I just make sure I make videos the whole night because that's what's gonna keep me up and keep me active on the account on the various few hours that I might actually go to sleep. So I'm really gonna now that I, I see what I'm doing with this, it's like okay, you're really doing a five minute wave, so you're gonna have time to sleep like when you catch the move, but you gotta first. Uh, catch the move, you know, like you're, you're asleep right after you catch the move, I catch the move and go to sleep, like don't go to sleep until you catch the move, like you're just waiting on the move, you know, like, it might be two moves, you're just waiting on all the moves that you gotta wait on, the part of the V or whatever, and then you'll have that move where it's just gonna go for a minute, it might be like overnight, before morning volume or whatever, like before that kicks in, you know, um, so you just kind of will ride the clock for like, 24 hours, like you're a swing trader basically, but it's just a swing trader hour, so you might do the hours and then switch over back and forth with it, you know, as well as you can at the moment. But now you're like, okay, you really see it. Like, I'm just gonna be ignorant with it. I'm gonna literally wait. I'm not playing with nothing outside of these three. It's really five, but we're gonna go to three. Oh, this is the one, then it's definitely, it's definitely all of them. It's definitely the, the bottom, like you're waiting for it to possibly scroll. It's gonna hit that price and scroll. That's that's the breaking of the 200. That's when the trend lines are really just gonna go crazy. Like they, that's when things get, you know, regurgitated. You know, it's a V, they're about to regurgitate all over your cap. And like, Ooh, let me get this up out of there. Yeah, exactly, that was the point. I'm glad you got the picture. You know, you was about to be somebody's picture. They was gonna take a picture of what they did to you. you can, that was going to be nuts. That was going to be all over Instagram. The niggas would never know that was you. They'll never know that that was you. But that nigga's about to be a legend because of what he just did to you. No diddy. You know? But that's just what it was, nigga. That's just what it was. So, we'll see if this we'll see if this price drops. But at least for, for that, it's just looking like the price is still having to drop. Because it's like, it reached the top of the one in the chart. Okay, okay. So you gotta hit the bottom of the one minute chart. Once the five minute chart starts getting signals, you know, like, oh, okay, you're just gonna watch the visual of the one minute fully. You know, I'm not even gonna check the five minutes till the one minute starts scrolling. Then I know I gotta move to the next chart, which is the five minute to see a chart that's not scrolling in that order of the next chart. So it's like watching every chart scroll. Once the move happens, I'll go to the one minute chart and wait for it to scroll up. Then I'll you know, click over to the five minute chart and watch that one scroll up. It's like, that's, that's what you want to do. It might take a long time to see all that, but that's what you want to do. You know, so it's like, let's see here. I'm going to see if the price for that drops, but even the price for that might not drop, but it's like, it's not the bottom of the one minute. So if it's gonna sell, it's gonna have to sell from the bottom of the one minute. You know, like that's still in the middle. That's in the middle. It's not the lowest parabolic or the highest. So I'm not even messing with it. Like it could go from there and be all good and reach back to break even and then you just get into the sell again if that's what it's gonna do. Or, you know, it should hit that point and go out further because it's buying, but it hasn't from that point reached the bottom. So it's just a simple, it won't be a it won't be a straight line or even a full diagonal line. It'll be a diagonal line with a bunch of zigzags hanging out from it. You know what I'm saying? It might be a, it's just gonna be weird. It's just gonna be weird. So if you're holding any cells or holding any trades that have to be sells just from this point because it is buying on the five minute. But the woman has already hit the top and started going down. So from there, the gravity can only pull it to the bottom three. It's just a tug of war between the smartest bulls and the smartest bears, basically. You know, lowest to the, the highest of the chart. The bulls are just gonna buy at the very low, and the bears are just gonna let them and sit there and just let it go higher and higher. And the smartest bears are gonna, you know, put in their cells, basically when the strength of the mad D's are, are weakening. You know, the bearish MACD is over. Once they're going to wait that out, whether they know it or not. 
But no matter what you're doing in the game, you're basically doing what I'm saying because it's like you want to be the smartest bear. And the smartest bears are going to only sell from the top three price levels. The smartest bears are going to wait for the last pair of ballots. Basically. Basically. But I don't even know about a pair of ballots. But isn't that just strange that you're still doing what I do when I see this on the pair of ballots? What do you see? Because I see them green dots. And I see a V. I said V. I'm looking for V's. You looking for V's. We all looking for V's. Everyone is looking for V's. You know? Everybody on the chat wanted a V card. Real shit. Nobody's trying to get fucked by the market. You know? That was just never fun. You know? That's going to be a good candle. And it might be point. Yeah, that's a wig. You know? John Wick is on your ass. You know? I see nothing but wigs. So I took off the candles because they're nothing but future wigs. That candle is going to be a wig in a couple of hours. You better get out. You know what I'm saying? Like you're holding on to a landmine. That's amazing. You know? You know, it's like that, bro. I just. I'm going to have to just keep recording. So. I don't know. We, um. It's buying on the five minute, but it's not at the bottom of the one minute. And it's already hit the top of the one minute. Many price levels ago, almost 10. Yeah, about 10 price levels ago. So it, it didn't go, it went kind of low, you know what? I mean, since, yeah, since, like, it went close. It went, like, almost there. Almost right there. Mm. Oh, this is dance. Okay, so I thought I was looking at the last I was getting confused. But yeah, it's the one minute. It's not even at the bottom of the one minute. Mm. Oh, shit. Um, so I'm just gonna wait for this one. But we're just waiting for a buy because the five minute has to go back up. That's still what it's doing. But until then, it's at the one minute go down. Don't know how long, it, how much that's gonna be. Like past the, the lowest price level that is shown already. But like how much of this one, this chart? You know, because we're like, you know, you're wondering, like, it's so gonna come all the way back here. Like, you know, at some point it does. I had the beginning of it. It's like, okay, did this begin? Like, shit. Like, the move down just happened. Like, yesterday or some shit. What is this? Five minutes. You know, but it was a wild ride, so we're just like recapping what we were doing. And I still gotta make another video and show you all the pictures, all the proof of it all. Cause I was like, I just didn't get video, but I made sure to take pictures. I was talking to people about it, taking pictures along the way of everything, and like just knowing I'm just gonna have to make a photo album video real quick. Video of photos and talking. Photos, just moving them around, so. Just, we're just trying to see if it's going to go back that low to make the 4V or whatnot, but to break even. And because this one is going up, so it's like you're really going to just wait for the one minute to go to the bottom. You know, just being like super duper patient because like every time you trade, basically, you will notice a few hours later it might go back. And like eventually it has to go back. That's break even. That's you, you, you know, you get it. Like other people cash out. So it's like, okay, if you can remember when to cash back in, then you can cash out. You know, it's going to break even. So that means you, you have to cash out on any continuation trades you place in the middle of that wave since you break even. You have more than two break evens, you're done for it. You know? All, all your equity is going to go away twice, you know? It's just going to go back to normal. And it's like, that was the game. It was the flash, you know? So, but the chart's supposed to go up. But I, I'm just trying to see when's the good 
point to get back in. Um, so it's like, for we're just gonna have to wait for the bottom of the one minute, then, bro. At least we almost got there, but they could do better than that. It's based on the five minute, and we don't know where they're going. Like, it, it didn't even go this long. Like, the church is screwing a little bit, something. I would think like that would be the best way. Like, just wait for the scroll. Shot's gonna have to scroll, bro. You know, it's like. I started off with small accounts, but that's always how I've been. I throw a lot of money into it. I always break it up into, because you're always, you know, you're not going to wait. You know, you're going to throw it on there. You're going to get it. So whatever you get, you can throw it on there. But you could always just let it add up. You have wallets. There was many other options, you know. But it's like now, it's like, okay, you put it on there, and you're waiting for, like, the next move. Like, you're going gonna, you're gonna to catch the next game. You've been saying it to yourself for years. Just catch the next game. Doesn't matter what you start with. Just catch the next game and go in with 30%, you know, 30 to 50% or whatnot. And that's it. Half port, you know. Go ahead and half port it. You know, it doesn't matter what you put in. You're going to get in and break even. And you just don't get in again. Especially if it's a profit, you can't unless you have a full port or something. But you just. The drawdown, because of the drawdown, you just have to catch the next game. Just don't enter into right now's game. Like, I wouldn't buy yourself from here at all because it's from a point that just started selling, you know. But the price is actually still registering above the high, which is a bad sign. So it's, like it's still buying. And it's definitely buying. You know it's buying. It's going to have to buy up another 140 points. back up to 540, 520. It's going to have to breach 500 at first. Last time you were waiting for it to be 600, that's what I'm saying. If you would have had more of them, they would have passed you through because you had other trades and you could have just had straight 12, nothing but, you know, 6 or 8. You had 4 in there already. You had all these other trades and it cost about the same amount, so you could have gotten into, like, another 5 trades. So if you just did all of that at the beginning, I'm saying just patiently wait. So I would just do that on video. We're just going to patiently wait. You're going to wait with me. You're going to watch with me. This price just started selling. It's like, you know it's still buying, but it's like, I'm not going to buy from here. You know how? Because you're in the middle of a V. You're in the middle of the price. I'm not going to buy from the middle. I'm not going to sell from the middle. I'm not doing anything in the middle. I'm watching the market slaughter. I want to see who wins. I don't even want to play this game. We're going to wait for the bottom three price levels or top three price levels. But you know it's buying. But you know you got to buy from the bottom because it hit the top already. So once it hits the top, you just get ready to sell. That's all I'm saying. So however you look at it, this is when you look at it, however you look at it. That's how you look at it, nigga. That's all I was saying. So, wait for price, top three levels, you're selling them. Once you get the confirmations that you're looking for, you start to see all of that at that point. Whatever it is you're looking for, you won't even see it until what I'm saying even happens. That's the ubiquitous thing about it. So it is. doesn't matter what, what you do, how you do it. That we're doing the same thing if we're winning basically what else would we be doing whatever you're doing is winning whatever i'm doing is winning we're winning we don't even know each other you know we don't even like each other because we don't even know each other so of course we don't like each other right so it's just crazy so i'm gonna let you in my world now Hey man's on the pop first. Like I said, it's the sixth time. So these next ones, like seven, eight, maybe nine. I don't know. It's like whatever. You know, at, at the point I made it, it was about to hit his 10th pop firm challenge attempt. Basically in a year. Like once you got onto the pop firm, said, okay, I'm going to take my first 10 in a year. Just I'm going to take them until I pass them. And then by number 10, you were passing because you've been passing other people for months, you've been helping other people pass for months all summer. You spent all summer doing that. Your legend was going crazy. You're passing niggas to problems. Imagine when you start passing your own. It's gonna be fucking hilarious. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. They're gonna look at you like a rich nigga. You know? It's gonna be crazy. Oh shit, it's gonna be crazy. Seven o'clock. So, we're just like, it's the one minute. Price got a at the bottom, it hit close though, on the one minute though, but it hasn't scrolled, man, on the one minute, it just hit pretty fucking close, one, two, three, damn, yeah, I said after five, so at that point, that could have been the bottom, but, 
fucking let's go to the five minute. It's not even at the bottom of the five minute though. It just hit the five minute though. So you know you gotta go to the top. But how much more could it go from here? 350 will seem like a higher low. Or this could have been a much higher low. This could be the higher lows, whatever, whatever. But uh, just still, the five minutes is not at the fucking bottom. The five minutes is not at the bottom. Why is it? Oh, yeah, the five minutes is not at the bottom. That could be. Because you've seen before, you've been in the trade. It would go back against you. It's whatever, but it's not at the bottom of the five minute. It's not even at the bottom of the one minute. If it hits the bottom of the one minute, most likely you have no choice but to hit the bottom of the five minute. It's going to be automatic because it's going to hit the bottom of the one minute right here. And that gravity is going to. Can't really do numbers right there. That's a whole another hundred dollars. You just push back down to break even. It's like you're looking for break even. You know, it's like I'm telling you that's profound. I'm looking for break even. What do you mean? It's gonna go into profit, and then it's gonna go against you. Did you get out? Did you notice it was going against you? Did you think it was going back? About fifty dollars away. Did you think it was still going back? Seventy-five dollars. You still don't think so? One hundred twenty-five dollars. Now you sweating, but you still don't do anything. You do nothing, right? Use an ostrich. That's what you are on the charts. You're an ostrich. What's an ostrich? What does an ostrich do? They run very fast. Yeah, they also stick their necks in the ground, you know, and don't watch their trades, right? What are you doing? But you're watching the trade. You can still be an ostrich. You see it. You're standing there. Out, but you're watching the crash. You are Wall Street's better for life, nigga. Right? You know, I'm the motherfucking rain. Man. Yeah. So it's crazy. I shut Wall Street best down. Shut niggas doing options. I ain't got time for y'all. That niggas goofy. Real shit. I'll be in the fucking forest. Reddit some discords and shit. You know, I'd be in a prop firm stuff. For real, for real. I just start going in all of them and just showing my charts and trading one of them. But them discords be popping. I wasn't in there today. I know they was waiting for me. I didn't pop up. I got my joint now there. So I'm just looking like, okay, we're going to wait. So it's, like, it's really just a waiting game. You're just waiting and waiting to just stay away. And it's like, I just gotta hit the bottom of the one minute. Hasn't even hit the bottom of the one minute. That's the bottom of the one minute. I just gotta at least go there. It doesn't have to, but that's the bottom of the one minute. So it's like, okay. The top seven price levels contain the one minute. But they start to contain the top ones contain it's like three you know three five minutes and three one minutes or not. So let's see how much time I got I gotta go. Okay, I got some more time. I've been recording for a minute. So you know just have to keep doing this and keep uploading that's, that's just cool. Just be like a constant, you know, flow throughout the day. Literally getting uploaded from the day done just recording basically but you have the privilege of doing so so you're gonna miss doing that so just do that film your trades you'd be so nervous to miss and that you know you still like oh you won't even show it like you'd be showing it on Instagram showing it on Facebook but this is like live video and so it's like it's really more so I just can't do anything else that's the thing I can't listen to music I can't watch you know I can't even entertain myself so it's like you know it's like shit so I gotta entertain you now, so I'm just going there with you, you know, which is cool, you know, so I'm just getting back my flow with that. I've been in writing mode for a while, you know, I left uh, YouTube so I could 
hone in on, on the writing skill. So that was that was like after the YouTube thing popped up, I really didn't see what YouTube was really about to be. I was still like caught in like you know the old age of Hollywood. And it's like it's a new age. Like you can really become Hollywood from your crib now. But you really can do it though. So like I, of course I saw it coming, right? You know that's why I did it. Can't say I didn't see it coming, right? You know, but you didn't know, no. You know what I'm saying? That, like, yeah, you really on the future of this. And I was filming in the backyard before YouTube, three years before I was 12. Like, I was just born on this. Like, this is just, you know, this is just going to be my first thing. You know, I have a few things now. So it's like now I'm filming, which is my first thing. I'm filming my second thing, which is trading. You know, you know it's like you start off filming, but it's like, you feel me your trades is what got you rich and you didn't even start trading for a certain time son of a bitch right which is crazy just crazy so you know the videos that go viral is when you start trading damn like that was the destiny of it you know i didn't know that you know but now it's like whoa i thought i left you too like nah you got your first taste it was fun right it was young as fuck it was awesome glad it didn't happen, you know, you know, just for mindset reasons, you were able to feel however you feel now, it's like whatever, you would have felt that then, you, know, you would have felt that now, in that world, and that would have been horrible, you would have had to deal with what you're going through now, but all of that, that would have been horrible, you know, now it's like, your emotions aren't even there, they're there, and they're also not there. They're there, but not there at all. Like, they're there. I feel them. It doesn't make it real. But they're there. I definitely feel it. I can feel it. But it doesn't make it real. You know? And it's like, that's ignorant. That's how you get by. It's just, it's going to be awesome. I'm telling you. It's like, I have a force field around it. Like, I don't take this seriously. I do, as far as like the actions that I take. I take it seriously. I'm not just out here being a dickhead to everybody, right? I'm just, you know, I'm actually making effort to be as good as I can. Just, I'm going to make the effort. I'm just going to, I'm just going to shoot for the stars and just being a great person. I'm just going to be the guy that just everybody wishes they had around. You know what I'm saying? It's like, that's just what it was. You know, it's a lonely life. So, you know, I, as you, you know, it's like I had to acquire this information. Now I get to share it with you whenever I choose to. So it's like, just choose to share it as much as possible. It's like, you know, I won't have this power to wield it forever, right? Not even a super duper long time, right? It's, even if it's decades, you know, it's, it's my third decade. You know, you got about five left at best. At best, you got five decades left at best. I mean, at this point, the, click, the clock is ticking for 50 years at best. A little more maybe, but at best, 50 at best. Because it's really supposed to be 30, 40, right? But, you know what I'm saying? You can get out 50, you know? But, so it's like, that's just how you live. You know, it's like, you can just leave stuff behind. You know, so I've really been grinding with the currency so I can, you know, leave that behind to family, basically. I can't take it with me. It's been a, percentage of it, you know, in the phase where I'm, you know, building it, seeing it, or whatever, but definitely going to be spending all of it, it's in a lot of money, I have to go to other places too, a lot of other things I want to do too, so, you know, it's going to be an insane amount that I have to earn on a regular basis, it's going to just be insane, insane amounts, insane amounts of cash, you know, so much cash, I can't even speak about it. You know? Like, they call me Rain Man. You gotta sit here and ask Rain Man how much money he has. How much money do you want? You know? It's like, that's not an unlimited offer. I'm just saying, like, how much money must you want? You know? Like, like what you want me to say? You know? I can't tell you the truth. I'm so rich, I can't even answer that question. And now it never stops the conversation. An answer like that would never stop the conversation. I don't know what made him think that answer was going to suffice. Enough 
for me to stop asking him questions about this. You know, oops, there goes the conversation. You know, we know what we're talking about on that. Right? Shit. You know, like, how do you answer that question? How much money do you make? Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, what do you say? Like, I made more than I used to. No shit, but uh, all my bills are paid, you know? I don't know. It's just going to be crazy. You know, this profit and shit is, is crazy. Um, just get the hang of all of them step by step so I can take it afterwards. Just take new ones after and higher ones. Keep scaling up. Fuck me. Man, I thought you know, I was going to have to go. I was about 50 minutes. And the phone still good though. Yeah, we're going to come back. We're going to keep going now. But, um, this is Dutch. Certain assets still going up. Uh huh. Hold on. The date goes out of the US. 500. The date goes. Whatever. Still at the top of the one minute though. I'm just saying. It's at the top of the five minute. Oh my god. Yeah. It's at the top three price level, so the five million. Yeah, but yeah, but that's kind of what I was saying. I was kind of saying that, but I'm like, that's is selling, and and when you were buying that, you tried to sell Nasdaq. That. that didn't work out for Nasdaq. Silver messed you up anyway, but Nasdaq would have, you know, got you back. You had like two in, you had multiple in, so it's like you could have just did that again with Dats, and you would have passed. You could have just did that from the beginning with Dats, you would have passed. So it's like if you were all Dats out on this, every trade was just a Dats. Nah, you good? Like you don't need nothing else. You got one winner. That's all we need. All you need is one winner, baby. What are you doing? This is trading. We're trading one currency versus another currency. It's already two currencies we're trading, bro. Now you're trying to trade four. This nigga's insane, you know. So. We're at the top three price levels on the five minutes. This is a bad sign. Oh no, the bills about to grab this price. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is gonna be a nice one. We're gonna have to go back to that demo account and sell some more. Like, I wanna sell this in the live account, man. That's what I'm saying. Like, just on some straight price action shit. It's at the top of the five minute. I'm not buying that. I'm not buying no shit like that. You think I'm gonna buy Nasdaq at the top of the five minute chart? No, that's the perfect sale. Oh my god, that's the perfect sale. Like, I wanna sell this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I see it. I do believe in it. I see an actual move. Do, do you really see a move? Yeah, I definitely see a move. Just off of GP. Just straight principle. Just straight principle. Like, right, just off, off the principle. I see it. I see it selling. Touch. The one sale is still 30 cents away. US money 20 cents away. Same thing. Nice. 28 cents. SP 4 cents. 5 cents. Just messed up. 1 cents away. No. The one messed up 30 cents away. Let's go again. We got dots up on, on the screen. So we gotta click this. And you can see, we got dots. Nice, nice. It's looking like a sale. We're gonna go one time and then ten times. We're gonna do it once. Now we got to get there. Now we're gonna sell it again. Yeah, because whatever you're doing for that, so you're doing it for. You tried that last time, it didn't work. That's what I'm saying. Like you just you just got the formula. Like just take the dot signal. You're not taking the NASDAQ signals. The NASDAQ signal is the fact that it's at the top of the five minutes. So when that's is saying it's selling, NASDAQ is at the top of the five minute. So NASDAQ is really doing the top and bottom of the five minute for real. Based on the dot signal. I'm gonna take the dot signal for NASDAQ. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Because I tried to do the other way, and that would have been just goofy anyway. So it's like if you're gonna take the gamble, the gamble has to be the same way with the indices. You know? Did you do my last? He did. You're gonna do it in the live? What are you gonna do about it? 
That's what you're trying to do with some camera. It's like, you don't have a trade on camera. It's like, all right, yeah, stop putting your trades on camera. I'll be listening to music. I'll be watching documentaries, interviews, podcasts, all kinds of things, bro. So I always be studying and learning and stuff. So, you know, I can do that whenever. Like, that's what I do anyway. So it's like, cut this back into your time. Like, this is the legendary stuff right here. Especially this whole, like, the videos are just legendary, period. Just doing that with your life, you know, leaving that much footage behind. But this kind of footage, this is, this is right here. This is the kill shot for you. Like, this is where you came back old in the month, like, with some crazy shit that old people want to know. Young people want that shit now, too. Like, super young. Like, they're, like, still in middle school, high school. You know, like, most of my teachers, like, most of my, my students, you know, they're teaching me stuff as well, of course. Like, just having students now, it's like, I'm sharper than a mug now because I spend our day just, like, you know, like, sword fighting with them niggas on their chops, basically showing them all these like advanced stuff, just experience stuff. It's all so it's just a, it's an advanced experience. Like, my experience is so advanced. You know, I've just been in the markets for the last six years. I like, I remember when silver was seventeen dollars. Like, oh, what you mean? Tell me like twenty twenty one, twenty twenty, more like twenty nineteen. 2018 when I was living in New York. When I first moved to New York, I would be watching the silver charts, noticing, hey, it's $17. Might have been 11 one day. I might have seen them at $11. Not really sure. But you have to check the historical data if it doesn't add up to why it was 17 But I remember noticing so That's what I'm saying. I wasn't, you even have to put the metals on your chart anyway. So I wouldn't would not have noticed it from the beginning anyway. Like nowadays with the platforms, it might just be with the platforms too. It would just, everything is just on there or you, you know enough to add everything. But Back then, I wouldn't have even added anything besides Forex. I was only trading Forex. I looked at the stocks from time to time, but I really just kept nothing but Forex pairs on there. And slowly, you would learn to add the, in this order for me, the energies, then the metals. Metals and energies are on the same time. Oil and silver, or gold. For me, it was silver. I never did gold until last winter, last October, like last between, um, not even October, just last November, last thanksgiving to christmas that's when i first started doing gold so i'm still in my first year doing gold and i've just been like cracking the code you know on it because I, I used to trade it very well when i first started i was just doing crazy shit so i've just been working on cracking it and now it's like yeah i can actually do the, the pin and order buy limit sell limits i used to do and i can just do my gold now you know i used to only trade with pending orders you know, that would be what you would refer to as an order block. Whatever you're looking for would be a pending order price. Like my price is that same price that you see whatever you see happening. I'm just typing in your number after candles, you know, like real talk. But I'm going to plug in the number that's at the top and the bottom of the candle. How about that? So all that inverse gap, you got to go back and gain what the orders it left before. Oh, okay, it sounds like a V to me. I'm looking for a V. We're looking for a V. That's a double V, nigga. That's a double V, double V, nigga. That's what I'm saying, you know? So, this is looking like this is a really good price to sell for. I'm sorry, it's the five minute? There's no way. Oh my God. Oh my God. And this just correlates with what Dax is doing. Oh my God. Oh my God. I wanna sell this. I just feel like this is it. This is it, boys. Right? This is it, class. This is like, real talk. I'm the coolest teacher in the world. Like, I'm really uh, showing the young the game. Yeah. Real talk. They're just like super kids. So it's like, you know, like they're about to hit teenager. It's like, whoa, that nigga's learning a grown man's game real young. That's real cool. They just showed up at their class. You know, it's like, whatever. They paid for the college, basically. They just showed up. And it's like, okay, cool. Well, uh, y'all the ones that popped up. So, we teach y'all the game. Fuck it. Like, that's the best bet is to teach while they're like, still in school, used to learning. And it's normal. Learning is normal. They just see it as another lesson. I don't have time to study this. Now I have these other classes to study. In the summertime, go crazy on it. You know, go full time on it. It's like, all right, bet. All right. 13 year old Betty Yap, Lester Yap in Malaysia, he's, you know, setting buy limits now on go. He set a buy limit on go. I'm like, all right. I was just looking at that on the five hours, seeing like the gold prices on the five hours, seeing like where you set your limits at. You set your limits. Your trades on go will only happen from the five hour. There gotta be a number on there and invest. It gotta be a price level on the five hour chart or something, basically, I guess. I would have used the same strategy I'm using now. You gotta go to the four hour and look at them price levels. 
those price levels would be whatever direction it's going. If it's going down, you would type those price levels in the sales. If it was going up, you would type them in those buys and stuff. So the one minute is definitely at the top. The five minutes at the top. We haven't looked at the others, but oh shit. Yeah, it's definitely going up though. At that point, but it's like that looks like a good stopping point, pretty much. Yeah. She's looking like a fucking stopping point. Um, in an hour. But yeah, it just looks like it's kind of dropped, bro. Like, it's still going up, but this is where it will have to. Uh, this is where all the niggas will cash out. It's the top of the one minute. You know what I'm saying? It's the top of the motherfucking 15 minute. The niggas are all. Uh, what you were waiting for the 15 minute? To hit the 200 right there, and then go under it. Set the top price level in a 15 minute. Because you, you're getting a signal from that. So you're looking at it from the perspective of uh, it got to sell, right? That's selling, it's doing whatever that's is doing. That's got to go to the bottom. This one at the top, though. So I said, okay, that's going to just possibly be just going slow, and this one's just going to be going kind of faster, you know, or they'll just pick up speed at the same time and just catch up and it won't even matter, so the games of these niggas, it don't matter, they don't want you to know it's going on, so of course they're going to like, yeah, they're going to let the NASDAQ run off a little bit more, you know, oh my god, it's still going up, you know, it's just a better sell price, if you only started getting in now, moderately, you wouldn't crash, because it's not going up that much anymore, it's hitting the highest point, it's a brand new daily candle, you just want to establish it's back at like a nice high point for the day. It's pretty high. It's a 15 minute too. So if I stay on here, because I'm really just going to take the DAT signal when I see DATs. But this one can not tell me they go into the bottom, but it can hit like that parabolic. That's what I'm seeing. Because that's, that's what it will be going towards, anyways, right there. That's the beginning. It's a $230 move. Basically, it's a $230 move. And you're going to go. Down with it. Um, it's a two hundred dollar, two hundred thirty dollar move. Just at that point, you just gonna go there. So, cause you're looking like for the last pair of it. Well, as far as the last, if we're gonna go off the last pair of it, then yeah, we're the right here, or right there. So. That's where we would have wanted to get out anyway. We could right there. Because we passed here, this red line, we already passed there. That's what I'm saying. We also passed that red line, right there is past it. So it's like, well, that would be good. So it's like, you really want to do this nasty ass sell. You know you want to do this nasty ass sell. You know you want to do it. I got to start recording, start recording again.